Uh, speaking of uh, Russian billionaires, I don't know if the last guy was a billionaire. Millionaire doesn't matter. He put a million dollars. But but speaking of Russian billionaires, Roman Abramovich, who is oligarch status, uh, has come out and said he's going to sell Chelsea Football Club. Originally, he said, I'm just going to step aside for a bit so that they're going to handle it. But there's been increasing pressure, I presume. And then and uncertainty is a bad thing for a sports team. Mm -hmm. uh, but he went a step further, and he said that the net proceeds of the sale would go to f to people affected in the Ukraine. What? How about that? Well, this is a Russian oligarch that's saying what? So I'm saying that's two stories in a row where successful Russian individuals people, yeah. are distancing. Yeah, there's some distance right there. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, now it's important to to note here, Mo. What do you think? What do you think? A uh, little football club by the name of Chelsea might run. Oh, you. I have no idea. Go ahead, Mo. We're talking Mo. millions and millions. Go of ahead, dollars. Mo. I, this is a shot in the dark, but I'm gonna guess a hundred million. Three billion. What? Three billion. Wow. Three billies. Wow. I have no idea how much sports are worth. It's gonna be one of the most valuable sports franchises ever. And one of the most value, one of the highest sports transactions ever, because you got to understand when it comes to this type of thing, the revenue generation potential. When you're talking about merch and jerseys and things, it's oh right, right, yeah. This fandom, like you got to have these things, you got to have these jerseys, mm -hmm. you got to have this merch, you got to have the TV rights, you got to have the uh, stadium. Mm -hmm. um, and all types of other collaborations other you can do, like brand, yeah. branding when you're called Chelsea. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. So anyway, uh, he says <clears throat> that the money, the proceeds, by the way, Conor McGregor shared a post saying he wants to buy it. He does not have $3 billion, but I feel no. like he's going to try to con connect with people who maybe do. Who do. Yeah. I don't know. The foundation will be for the benefit of all victims of the war in Ukraine. Hmm. Abramovich said in a statement, on the Chelsea website. Please know that this has been an incredibly difficult decision to make, and it pains me to part with the club in this manner. Uh, he has been, uh, he has sort of facilitated the rebuilding of this thing, invested a lot of money in this team, dating back to 2004, around there. So you gotta believe this is a very emotional thing, right? It's what that's almost 20 years ago that you've been working on this thing. And so to step away from it completely, I presume, is a, is a tough one to do, but probably necessary at this point as the, there's this increasing pressure on, well, phew, never mind Russian oligarchs. It seems like Russian anybody at this point, as you're going to find out as Will goes through these tabs over here. Founded over 100 years ago. That's what I'm saying. That's some lineage. That's what I'm saying, Mo. You got to get your billions out. <laughs> Mo, get, right. Mo, get your billions out. You guys ready to own a football team? Yeah. Uh, here I got are, five bucks. <laughs> here are some Ukrainian civilians stealing a Russian tank and having a great time. So <laughs> There's stealing. a lot of humor with uh, these farmers. You see a lot of these videos, farmers no, it's, it's, stealing it, tanks. It's really interesting because it's like a terrifying situation. And in some way, in order to continue to exist within it, you have to have, almost have a laugh about you it. You have to find the humor in it. So they're rolling around. You gave us the volume there, uh, Well, They're laughing. Yeah, man, they're having a time. Look at this. First stolen tank. Like, first of many. They're like, hey, we got a lot. We're going to get lots of these. They're collecting them. It's Grand Theft Auto over there. We did it. This reminds me of that clip that we saw a few days ago with the tractor towing <laughs> yeah. the tank out of the town. Yes, yeah. yes. It's like, <laughs> it's interesting. The tank, which obviously has fuel, yeah. you wonder if it was abandoned, fully operational, or if it ran out of fuel, someone left it, and then they put more fuel in it. Yeah, maybe. And it's then like, they like, free tank on the tank, side of the road. It's our tank now. Now, did they start their own battalion? <laughs> Farmers. <laughs> now that they have that tank, right? Is that... <laughs> They're the tank guys. I don't know. The tank thieves. I mean, they could get good at it. Uh, but I, yeah, it's, I don't know. There's something refreshing about watching them have a blast with that. It's a terrible nice situ watch. situation. Uh, but. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. typically you well, don't. Well, and they're not hurting anybody. Yeah. I mean, because if they were actively sh killing people and smiling, laughing, that's a different type of smiling, laughing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very, isn't that weird? Like the idea of the evil laugh. You laugh when you're genuinely happy, amused, entertained, having loving feelings, but then there's the evil laugh. The diabolical laugh. Which is different. Yeah. Go ahead, Will. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's more of a kiss, thinking, like a cackle uh, or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. I was thinking, uh, what's it called? Shaden Freud? Finding pleasure in someone else's pain. But you're not laughing. Maybe you're you. just kind of thinking. Maybe you are. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know, Will. I don't know, Will. Yeah. Well, you asked me. <clears throat> Which is fine. I'll tell you. Which is fine. <laughs> Ever since you got that coffee, I'm asking you all kinds yeah, of things. Don't you worry.